Hey, fourth and fifth graders. This week, you will be reviewing the instruments of the woodwind family. Now, in order to get started, you're going to want two tabs open on your screen. You're going to want your quaver tab and your tab to your email. Okay. So we're going to first start with our quaver tab and you're going to go ahead and log in. Now I'm going to log into my student account. So what I see, you see. Okay. So this is my student account. Okay. Then just like we normally do to find an assignment, we're going to go to the student tab then assignments. Okay. And your assignment should be in red because the red indicates that it is incomplete. And you are going to go to music at home brass family or no, not brass family, woodwind family. So make sure you click the woodwind family one. Okay. It will have a different date on yours because yours won't be due till like the first week in May. So, Go ahead and click Woodwind Family. Okay, this assignment introduces students to the instruments of the Woodwind Family. Remember to click the instructions button at the bottom of the screen to get more information on what to do. Have fun. So now go ahead and hit launch. Okay, remember if you have any questions, go down here in the bottom left hand corner to the instructions tab. And you can click on that and it will tell you what you need to do. Okay. So for this one, it says, look at the pictures on this page and see if you can name any of the instruments in the woodwind family. So you'll go ahead and do that. Then hit next. The instrument anatomies. This is very similar to what you did last week with the brass family. If you'll notice, we have more instruments in the woodwind family than we did in the brass family. So you will start with the piccolo tab that we are on right now. You will go ahead and reveal the parts of the instrument. Then you will also listen to what the instrument sounds like. Notice if it has a higher pitch or a lower pitch. Then you will do the same thing for the flute, the oboe, the clarinet, the bassoon, and the bass clarinet. Okay. The next slide is a woodwind jingle. This is where a small woodwind ensemble is going to play. And if you'll notice, you'll see these little toggles that are all on. So if you hit play, it will play all of these instruments. Okay. Now, if you wanted to turn one of these off so they wouldn't play, you would just switch the toggle to off and then it wouldn't play. So you can experiment with different sounds and different combinations of the instruments in this small ensemble. You will then watch the Woodwind Family episode like we would usually do in class. Then you will take your quirky quiz on the Woodwind episode. Then you will listen to a little woodwind animal song, kind of comparing the sounds or the timbres, the quality of the sounds to different animals. Then there is a train the brain. And another train the brain. Don't forget to hit the blue arrow down here because there are two sets. Then you have a Q-Libs. Make sure you do single player because most of you are probably working individually. Let's see if you can get it done before the timer runs out. You guys are usually pretty good at that. Then we have Woodwind Mix-Up. It says play a track and arrange the instruments to match the order they appear. So you're going to hit play on this track and you're going to listen to what instrument you hear first. What instrument comes in second? So maybe for instance, for example, the flute, maybe you hear first, then you hear the oboe, and then you hear the clarinet. So this is just an example. These are not the answers. Okay. Then you can check your work to see if that's what you heard. 
okay? Kind of helping to listen so you know the difference between what each instrument sounds like. Okay. This last slide, the classical connections, you do not need to do. So you can go ahead and skip over that one. And that this one is the last slide. So once you get here, you are finished for with the quaver part. Okay. Then you're going to go into your email. And I'm going to go into mine. And I sent you a Word document just like I did last week. Okay, so you're going to go ahead and hit download. And there it is. And then it should open up. Okay, remember it's in protected view. So you may need to enable editing up here. There we go, now it looks normal. Okay, don't forget to put your name at the top. Okay, I have the directions listed on this sheet too. So if you need to, you can open this first before you go to Quaver if you'd like. Otherwise you can follow the video just like I've done it on here. Okay, there's kind of two options you can do. Okay, just like last week, there are exit questions. Okay, so you're going to answer each one of these questions. Then you will hit file, save as. Make sure you save your work. Like I said, I like to save mine to the desktop. So I always find the desktop because that's easy to see. Okay, then you will save your work. I'm not going to save mine, but you will save yours. Okay, then you will go ahead and email it to me just like you did last week and then you are good to go so if you have any questions make sure you email me i would be happy to answer them and talk you through them uh, if you are finding that you have some spare time you are absolutely feel free to go anywhere on the Quaver site and just explore. The more you explore, the more you become familiar with it. So then next year, it'll be a lot easier to navigate as well as you might find some really cool things to do on there. So hope you are all doing well. I miss you guys and I will talk to you later. Have a great day.